What's up, y'all? It's your man Alex, and I got the carnivore boy with me, eating a handful of meat. A couple days ago, I, I did a video about a day or two ago, um, talking about movies that I fell asleep on in the theater or wanted to fall asleep. So I figured I'd do another video talking about some of the malfunctions that have happened in the theater. You know, I, I've been to a couple of movies where weird things have happened with, you know, either the film or something in the theater went crazy. Uh, there was a movie, I don't remember what movie it was. It was a long time ago. Uh, me and my mom was at, I wish I remember what it was, but there was some point in the movie where this old woman like fainted in the theater something happened where she was, I don't know if she was having a heart attack or something and she like fainted and they shut the movie off and my mom my mom has worked at a hospital she's a respiratory therapist you know she's been there for like 30 plus years so she goes out in the aisle and she's helping this lady she's laying on the floor and you know all this stuff is going on and I wish I remember what movie that was, but I, I guess the lady turned out all right. I've fallen and I can't get up. Another, uh, another, why am I holding this? Now back in the day, my mom took me to see Superman 4. And uh, you remember that scene in the movie when Lex Luthor had that uh, that missile and it had that little concoction with you know to make the other, the super villain guy? The scene where he shoots the rocket, or when he shoots that missile out into space and Superman throws it. Right in the middle of that scene, the the picture melted. It's like the film just melted on the screen. It just melted. And the movie stopped. And it was... The movie wasn't running, I can't remember how long, but it took a while for him to get the movie started again. Uh, another time I remember going to see uh, Pet Cemetery with my dad and my uncle. And we went out to this theater. They don't use it to show, you know, movies anymore. It's like a playhouse type place. But anyway, uh, I think it was the only time I had ever gone to this theater to see a movie. And it was Pet Cemetery, And it was the type... It was a type of theater where when the movie starts, the curtains open. I mean, the, the theater is real nice looking, you know, the curtains open. But uh, when the movie when the movie started, the curtains open, and then the curtains closed again, and it started showing the movie on the curtains, and then it just stopped, and the lights came back on in the theater. And then it was weird, and it was a moment where people started clapping, which was kind of funny. When I went and saw the Halloween remake, Rob Zombie's Halloween, when the movie first started, for like the first, I don't know, maybe 10 minutes of the movie, the picture was like, the picture wasn't centered. It was like moved down to where the top, the top half of the picture was at the bottom, and the bottom half of the picture was at the top. So you're looking at this weird, this weird looking, I don't know, it was just weird, off-centered picture. And it was like this for like 10 minutes. And nobody wanted to go out and say anything. I wasn't going out because I was comfortable. I didn't want to lose my seat. Or, you know, when it's dark in the theater, you can't find where you're sitting. If you leave and then come back, if there's a lot of people. So, somebody eventually got up. I got hair on my tongue. Me and my wife went and saw Tower Heights, that movie with Ben Stiller and Eddie Murphy. And uh, there was a, a point in the movie, well actually at the very end of the movie, if you ever seen Tower Heights, uh, you know there's a scene where, you know, something happens and then you see what happens and all these people have, a, you know, this, ha this happy ending where they all get these items or whatever. But uh, when that scene came on, in like the last few minutes of the movie, uh, the advertisements that they showed before the movies came up on the screen. So while the movie was playing, these ads were playing on top of it. And <laughs> when the movie was over, 
all of these people walked out the theater and started complaining about how, oh, we couldn't see the very end of the movie and I want my money back and blah, blah, blah. But the funny thing is, is that you could, you could actually see the movie. I mean, the advertising wasn't like, it was covering the whole thing. You could actually see what happened in the movie. And these people were just complaining because they wanted to see, you know, they wanted, you know, some money back or to get a free movie. Uh, so what happened was that the the theater manager started handing out these free tickets to everybody. You know, you could use in 180 days. Uh, they started handing stuff out to everybody. And even though me and my wife seen, we know we was like being honest with ourselves saying, man, we saw the movie. You know, you could see these people just complaining. They offer this one. They offer both of us one and we took it. Shoot. Free movie. I'm taking it. But I didn't get to use mine because she stole it and gave it to my daughter. So they both went to a movie for free and I didn't get anything. So That's kind of it for the movie malfunctions and crazy stuff that happened. Uh, there's a lot of things I can't really remember. Anyway, that's my video, y'all. Thanks for watching. Peace. Can you say an 80s slasher? <laughs>